So today it's all about P, the letter P that is, and some of the ingredients that we're using that start with the letter P, like penne, peas, pancetta, parmigiano, pepper, pepperoncino, puma. Let's make some pasta. First things first. Now we have some other ingredients in this recipe, one being mascarpone cheese, and we're using peas two ways here, as a puree and kept whole. So let's start with extra virgin olive oil in a pan on low to medium heat. Next, I'm gonna add some garlic, and I'm just gonna smash it whole with the side of my knife. This is just gonna help infuse the oil. It's all gonna get blended up anyway, so no need to chop it up. Now you can add some hot chili flakes here, pepperoncino if you like, and after a few minutes, and the oil has infused with the garlic, we can add fresh or frozen peas and some mascarpone cheese, which is very similar to like a cream cheese. And then add a splash of water and season with salt and freshly cracked pepper. Once the mascarpone cheese has melted and the peas have cooked, we're gonna take it out, put the mixture into a blender or food processor. I'm using a stick blender. We're gonna add some lemon zest and some fresh basil, and we're gonna blend until everything is smooth and creamy. I did add a little bit too much water here, uh, so it's a little bit thinner, but it will thicken up as it cooks with the pasta. Give a taste and adjust any seasonings. Now grab some pancetta and cut into small cubes and place in the dry pan on low to medium heat and let the fat render out and the pancetta crisp up. Once done, we're gonna remove to a plate lined with paper towel just to catch any extra uh, grease and set that aside. Now all this brown sticky stuff you see is called fond, which is all flavor that's gonna get released when we add the pasta. Now you can drain all of the rendered pancetta fat but I like to keep some of it because it adds so much more flavor. And depending on how much fat was rendered out, you can remove some of it. For the pasta, salt a large pot of boiling water and add your pasta and cook a couple minutes before al dente as we will finish cooking it in the sauce. Now we can add the pasta to the pan along with a ladle of pasta water, the pea puree, and this is optional, but you can add some more mascarpone cheese if you like. Now it's time for la mantecatura, mixing and tossing, marrying the pasta to the sauce. Once the sauce has been mixed through, we can add the whole peas. If frozen, it'll cook as we finish up, so no worries. We can add the pancetta. You can save some for garnish if you like, or add it all in. Mix and toss again, and then remove the pan from the heat, or turn off the heat, and add as much reggie, parmigiano reggiano, as you like, mixing and tossing, and then plate it up. Garnish with a little sauce, crispy pancetta if you save some, some more parmigiano reggiano, some freshly cracked pepper, and bring it to the table. I really love how creamy this is, and you get a lot of pea flavor. Yeah, I know. Uh, the sweetness of the fresh peas on top, the basil and the lemon zest add a nice freshness as well, and then the saltiness of the pancetta, the cheese. Oh, it's really good. So I hope you give this recipe a go. And as always, the full recipe is in the link in the description below. Please like and comment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Until next time, ciao.